you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret? Oh. What do you want? Well? You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Vigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, alright? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? Oh. Thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me. Okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of... lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? Hey, we're not done here. <laughs> I can't should come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. What the hell did you get yourselves into? The Crooked Man's gonna get his, one way or another.
All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Did you ever see the Crooked Man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But, come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. 
Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Bigby's here. Oh. Come back later, Toad. I have stuff to do. Wait, wait, wait. Another second, all right? I'm just trying to do a bit of business. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Maybe I didn't make myself clear just now. Get the fuck out, Toad. Now! Before I confiscate that coat. Whoa, if it's even on the business office's radar, I want no part of it. No sale. Good night, Irene. You blasted coward. Thanks for nothing, Sheriff. Posing on the common man he is, wouldn't be so tough if he wasn't a sheriff and he didn't have the teeth or the claws or the... Oh, bollocks. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? Have a good day. Drop by any time. Eh, fuck you too. It really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. Bloody Mary works for the Crooked Man. And the last time I saw her, she had the Woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The Woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. There's more than just pawning going on here. You got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker, too. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. And if I just happen to find a giant mystical axe? That would be quite the magic trick. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Uh, can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so, uh... I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you just- Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Just my luck. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay?
thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Okay, come on, Big Me. That wasn't- The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... Uh! What happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... Is that my fucking system? But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm that... I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? Is what his is axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. How's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm, uh... Just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Go fuck yourself, Jersey. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <laughs> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? <laughs> That's it? You talk, B. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. What? I'm just gonna handle you. You fucking... Oh, motherfucker! What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve.
assholes. I found her. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles, whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me, so I can find some aspirin. Oh. oh! He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. I'll come back here and finish the job. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke? Fresh out. I should have hit you with this thing. Shitty brand, anyway. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something. Get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? It's my job. I'll get him. All right. Go do it then. 